Well, have you ever noticed that things just aren't as simple as they seem? Take this stove, for example. Uh, I needed to replace the oven door gasket. No problem, went online, ordered it, and I got it in, right here it is. And so I was looking at it, I said, okay, so let's go about replacing it. So, but then I got to look and I said, well, how do I replace it? Because this is a really tight fit. I took a screwdriver and pried on it just a little bit. I said, well, that ain't going to work because that is a really tight fit. I said, well, how's it attached? So I looked around. I seen there was a, there's a screw and a washer on the bottom. I took that out. There was a screw and a washer at the top. I took that out. Well, that didn't make a bit of difference. Still tight as a wedge. I said, all right. Now there's no screws in the back. Looking around, looking around. I said, okay, well, let's dissect it just a little bit more. So I took the back off of it. Let's go back here. So there's the back. You see all the pretty insulation. It's kind of an old stove. Um, so here's what I found. And because you can see how it's made, you got this inner piece. You see how it's close the insulation has. It's separate from the stove, but it's held in place by these big giant strong springs. So you got one on that side, and you got one over here. So then I got to thinking, okay, I see what I need to do. I need to remove those springs. I said, but what kind of tool am I going to use that's going to unhook such a strong spring? My first thought, I said, well, it'd be nice if I had like an ice hook. That would be good. Something good and strong. I can get a hold of it and pull it loose. But I don't have an ice hook. So I thought, well, I can make an ice hook. So here's what I did. So I came up with a, this right here. Here's my ice hook. I got me an S hook and a drift pin. And I've already unhooked this once and put it back on just to make sure it would work. So I just took this, hooked it on there. And I can't show this on camera because I've only got two hands, but I had to take my other hand and brace it and give it a good strong pull. So let, let me let me do that real quick and I'll be right back with you. Okay, yeah, there you go. Got the right tool. If you make the right tool, it's pretty easy. Give it a pull, cut it loose. All right, so I'll do the same thing over here. And then I'm assuming that... that uh, the oven in interior part will slide forward so let's get to it okay both springs are loose let's see what happens on the other side well looky there how easy that was yeah it's kind of heavy though but it is coming out but i'm gonna have to do oh i see what's happening my door is holding me all right let me let me get some shims or something other because all I need to do is just separate it just a little bit. It's still a little snug up top. Let me find something to open that gap up with. All right, to make my life easier, I pulled the oven door off because they just lift straight up off, off the hinges. And you can see how that old gasket is just cooked as hard as a rock. So we need to get all that out of the way. This out. Yeah, seen better days. And you can see like with the new one how it's got the little, that little lip. So the little lip fits right in behind here and locks in place. So I'm going to finish getting this all out of the way. I'll probably just take my air hose and blow this out. Might be the easiest thing. I just want to make sure there's nothing left behind that would give me any trouble. So come on camera, put the camera in the right spot. There we go. So it's all clear. Nothing behind there. I'll blow that out with an air hose. And we'll see about laying this new gasket back in place. Alright, so it's all nice and clean now. And you can see how easy this is once you get it apart. Just drop it down in that groove. Work it around, work it around. Around the corner, around the bend. There we go. As my father-in-law would say, just like downtown, just ain't as crowded. Oh, looky there. Oh, sweet. Well, I wish I'd... I get to not... I gotta remember to look through the camera when I'm doing this stuff instead of looking over the camera. There. That looks a little bit better. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Alright, so we got that. Now we gotta hook those springs back up it back in there make sure it don't pop out that wouldn't be no good looks 
good to me. All the way around. All right. I think that'll work. It's amazing how those springs pull that tight, but that's, I guess that's why they're so dang strong. Okay, so uh, we'll go to the back side. With my fancy tool though too, I've laid it down somewhere. Here it is. Okay, so. So the goal is to get that spring back in that hole. Once again, that's going to take two hands because it's just a stout one. So let me give that a try. See if I can get it done. All right, that was easy. One down. Let's try the other. I just hope my gasket stays in place. Don't jump out of the way. All right, there's number two spring. A little dark in there, isn't it? All right, let's go to the front side. See how the gasket looks. Okay. Looks good, looks good. All the way around. Just want to make sure it's in that groove all the, all the way. I believe it is. All right, and I'll put these screws back in place and uh, see, if it, see if the door will close. Okay, here's a tip. Sometimes these springs they want to keep snapping back but you know you gotta leave them at an angle so just open them up stick a socket anything you got handy to keep them out then once you slide the door onto it then you can lower the door and get your sockets out and uh, that's pretty easy peasy all right you see how i got the door slid back down there and i just open it up and get my, get my socket out of the way Got that done. All right. There we go. Gasket replaced. And the oven should work like it should and not lose any heat and stay efficient. Okay, anyway, here's the gasket I just replaced. WB2X5103. I did a YouTube search. I couldn't find anybody else that made a video on that particular gasket. So that's why I did it. Not a fancy video, but you get the ideal. Hopefully that'll help somebody out. Thanks for watching. Have a blessed day. See you, bye.